Hello YouTube. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, a Zippo lighter. This is actually a 1941 replica. Now, uh, the first thing to say about this is obviously the original lighter wouldn't have come with this jump wings on it. I put this on myself. I don't know if I made the right decision to be honest, but it's done now and there's not a great deal I can actually do about that. There we go. Uh, the reason, if I can get us to focus, one of the reasons really I'm putting this video up is there's uh, a member on here, I can't think of his actual name now, I think it's Chain Massacre, I think, I'm not sure. I'll leave a link sort of underneath my video, basically he does some excellent videos on knives and lighters, and I just thought, you know, I would sort of pay homage to him and, and do a little one myself. Now, as I say, this is actually a 1941 replica, and in all fairness, it's actually a very good representation of what the original lighter would have been, which apart from the jump rings I stuck on. Uh, the first thing to start off with is the actual shape. Uh, you can see that the corners are slightly more rounded than what sort of the zippos we know about today are like. Uh, the bottom of it is flat. There's not actually a recess in it, where the new ones are sort of stamped almost. The hinge is also quite a major difference. There's a four barrel hinge, and this one actually has four barrels, whereas I know some of the earlier sort of replicas, for example, the 35 and the 37, I believe, I'm sure some will correct me if I'm wrong, actually uses um, a five barrel hinge rather than the actual four barrel. Again, another difference with this lighter is it doesn't actually have the standard eight vent holes either side so 16 and actually has seven so 14 in, the, in total uh, which is actually correct to the, the, the right pattern the actual um, wheel itself the thing that holds it in place is actually hollow which is correct as well whereas a lot of the new ones now actually use a solid uh, sort of pin this little lock-in mechanism here, I'm not sure what the correct name, I'm sorry about that, is sort of spring load. You can see there's a little bit of metal that sort of gives it this that tension. And again, that's correct. So the earlier pattern ones used what I believe was almost like a little piston, I think. I'm not too sure, to be honest, about that. Uh, like I say, it's a nice little lighter. Not too bad at all. Um, brushed steel front polished uh, chrome sides. Like I say, the uh, jump wings wouldn't have been on there, but except sort of be a nice little touch. I don't know if uh, if I'm quite happy with actually doing that now, but like I say, there's not much I can do about that, but there we are. Uh, not a bad light at all, to tell you the truth. Picked it up from a uh, British retailer for £15, which isn't bad for a Zippo light, especially in uh, in the UK. So quite happy with that. You know, I'm, I'm happy that I use it sort of... Uh, on a regular basis, take it to my reenactment shows. Excellent lighter. So, thank you for watching. Uh, leave some comments and have a look at the link in the bottom of the video, and you should find um, that guy's channel. Fantastic channel, he does uh, reviews on knives and lighters. Here you go, thank you very much for watching. Bye.